everyone welcome back to our channel so how are you all hope you all are fine so in our previous videos we have already discussed about the twin primes and co primes yes so today we are going to discuss about prime triplets what are prime triplets a set of three consecutive prime numbers differs by two okay a set of three consecutive prime numbers differs by two what does it mean so let's take example 3 5 7 these three are consecutive prime numbers okay and the difference between the two prime numbers is 2 the difference between 5 and 3 is 2 and the difference between 7 and 5 is also 2 okay so a set of three consecutive prime numbers which differs by two. this satisfies the condition 3 5 7 are called prime triplets okay suppose if we take 2 5 and 7 is this a prime triplet the difference between 5 and 2 is 3 here the difference between 7 and 5 is 2 so it is not satisfying the condition okay so these numbers are not prime triplets okay so 3 5 7 satisfies this condition what is the condition is that of three consecutive prime numbers differs by 2 Okay, so three five seven is called a prime triplet. Triple means three numbers. Okay, now one more condition is a set of three prime numbers or in the form of p p plus two p plus six or p p plus four p plus six. Okay, so let's take one example. Five. Seven, eleven. These three are prime numbers only. Yes, and it satisfies this condition. P P plus two P plus six means here five five plus two is seven five plus six that is eleven. So these three numbers comes under prime triplet. Okay. This is one example. P P plus two P plus six form. Then those numbers are prime triplets. Okay. Now let's take one more example. Seven eleven thirteen. Seven eleven thirteen. Okay. So seven seven plus four is eleven. Seven plus Six is thirteen, so it satisfies this condition. P P plus four P plus six. If it satisfies either P P plus two P plus six or P P plus four P plus six, so it satisfies this condition. So these numbers are also called prime triplets. Okay, seven, eleven, thirteen. Okay, now. Let's take some big numbers. Okay, thirty-seven, forty-one, forty-three. These three are prime numbers only, and we will check if it satisfies or not. Okay, so P means thirty-seven, thirty-seven plus four. So it satisfies this condition. P P plus four, thirty-seven plus six is nothing but forty. Okay, so P P plus four. P plus six condition it satisfies. So these three numbers are prime triplet only. Let's take one more example. Okay, sixty-seven, seventy-one, and seventy-three. So sixty-seven, sixty-seven plus four, sixty-seven plus six is nothing but seventy-three. So it satisfies the condition P P plus four P plus six. Okay. 
So these numbers are also prime triplets. 67, 71, 73 are also called prime triplets. Hope you understand very well children. So what is the rule for becoming a prime triplet? It satisfies the condition. What is the first one? A set of three consecutive prime numbers differs by two. One more is a set of three prime numbers all in the form of P, P plus 2, P plus 6 or P, P plus 4, P plus 6. If it satisfies these conditions, then those prime numbers are called prime triplets. Okay? You can have a list of prime numbers and check whether the three numbers are prime triplets or not. Okay? So, hope you understand. Hope you are very clear. See you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye, all of you.